Hello everybody, it's Kimmy here from Unique Scrappiness. And um, firstly, I just want to apologise for the poor light. We've um, had a week and a half or so of rain down here in Australia so far. Um, well, in my area of Australia anyway. And <clears throat> I um, I wanted to get this movie up. So hopefully you can. the lighting is not too bad and you can actually see, uh, see my mini. So today I, I wanted to share with you um, a little mini that I've made from a paper collection that I've got down here in Australia called Millie's Garden. And this paper collection is produced by uh, Grant Archival. And it's, there's some of the details there anyway. It's um, Grace Taylor. And yeah, um, we can pick these up from places like Spotlight, uh, BW, Lingcraft, and uh, a lot of crafty places um, have this, this paper collection or this, uh, this line. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's really bright and very springish considering we're in autumn down here. So um, I'll show you how it goes. This is a, a flip out mini book or album and it actually flips out this way. So it sort of is a vertical flip out rather than going a uh, horizontal way. So on my um, front cover I've done some fussy cutting and um, added some glossy accents to the to this banner and sort of layered it up and I made a from the paper collection I just made a little little banner that says joy uh, and I didn't do very much more the paper was really pretty and it did it did it sort of did the rest this is just a, a felt flower that I had and I've had it for so long in my hoard that the, uh, all the layers started to come apart so I just um, I just shifted them about so that they were a single thickness but um, yeah sort of a fuller flower and I added the little stamen on the inside of there. So this opens up this way. I'm sorry if I sound really nervous. I'm still not used to doing these YouTube movies a few months out of um, out of it and you just I get I really <laughs> you know lost all nerve. So here um, on the inside of the flap or the first the front flap I've created a pocket um, and put two rather large photo mats in and those are both double sided. Um, and then with uh, one of my Sizzix dies, I created just a little envelope and then um, put a little tag in. And I've cut out a lot of the words and stuff from the paper collection. I don't think that's... And this is from the front cover. Um, I used a tiny little square from the front cover. And, and again, I've put A Life Well Lived, and that's from the the word sheet that came with this with the paper pad and then I just um layered it up with some glossy accents and glittered a few of the, the dots or pods on the here and then I've really raised those up but I don't think that the camera will quite catch how high they are. And then it flips out like this. So I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it all. If I pull it up this way you'll see the bottom flap. Um, these are from, these words are from um, the, a big sheet in the collection that has has all the words all over them. I just basically cut some of them out to use within the album. So I made a gatefold uh, section here so there's four, um, four sheets and places to put photos and these are all workable frames. Um, I had a little piece of paper here to show you how they work. But obviously it's gone missing so so you can tuck them, tuck them in and tuck a photo in behind those um, so they were done with the Sizzix um, film strip die and I just cut those in half I don't think I can get it too close it's really awkward to to manage um, that one flips out that way and on this side I have a little um, doily cut frame that I used my Cricut book and, um, and I cut that out and then just a little tag that says sometimes fate and your dreams can collide and then a place for a photo or maybe some more journaling and that just tucks down into that corner there. On this side there's a place for a photo here um, and then two little photo mats here and they're blank on the other side so that you can journal on those and they tuck into the belly band there um, and I've just used a cut up some doilies, um, some more of the felt flowers that I've pulled apart and layered up. And then this one opens out this way, so now it's getting quite wide. Um, and this is my 
stamp combo Sizzix die and those are both workable frames and I fussy cut some of the flowers from the actual paper collection as well and some more words from the big word sheet and this is another workable frame um, I think this is a Sizzix frame and it's called swirly swirl swirly frame or curly frame I'm not sure now and another felt flower and some recollections bling that Elsa sent me last year uh, on this side, I've just um, layered up more of the paper and made a photo mat. I tucked a little tag in behind here that's double-sided, so it could be for journaling or you could put photos on it, and then it just hides away here. And you can the photo can fit down behind the, the flourish as well, so it's not quite all glued right down. <clears throat> Excuse me. On this side, I've cut a Polaroid frame out on my Cricut, and hopefully it's workable. I hope <laughs> that I didn't glue it down wrong. Uh, if I wasn't, if I had more time, it's a workable frame anyway. And I made a, a tag with some of the leftovers and offcuts as well. So these more words from the paper collection, and then on the back of that is is plain. So there's more places for journaling. And this is just a doily that came with. Um, Maybe came with this one or oh, one of these anyway. You can get some journal vintage journaling tags from the same line. Um, so I picked up a couple of packets of those and I also picked up uh, this one here. It's not as come from this one here. Um, journal tags as well. Oh. And also I also got the sticker book and I cut it up and used some of the stickers as as well from here um, and they're all vintage as well mm. so then this one I'll tuck this this one opens out this way and this is one of the stickers that I fussy cut so that it um, I could um, use it to make a sort of a corner pocket and I've tucked in two tags here so this is sort of from the the collection as well and then this one just is, is you and me and a place for a photo there. So they tuck in behind here. And then just another pocket with some lace, um, some seam binding. That's some more uh, paper flowers that I've cut out on the Cricut and used um, coordinating papers from the same company. Uh, and then these are just some uh, place sort of for journaling or photo and a double sided photo mat there. They tuck in behind here. So now I just have to get the um, get the pockets right so that one goes that way, that way, that way, that way. And then on the last panel I have like a little flip book and I've used my Zutter bind it all to, to bind it and then attached it to the back. So it's um you know, it's getting a bit tricky. <laughs> so, oh, what a joy comes from the the big word sheet, and then I just I made a pocket here and I put put in a little journaling card. Uh, the back is blank for more journaling or a photo, and a place for a photo there, and it just tucks into a little pocket that I've made here with oh happy days written on it, and that's another flower that I've cut out on the Cricut. And then you flip it up, and then on this side I have um, uh, another, I guess you call it a belly band, is going this way, um, with some more of my felt flowers and some bling um, and ribbon. And then this is just a little booklet that I've made. And, uh, this is from the, the paper pad, and I added just a little bit of glossy accents to those to give them a bit of texture. And then on the inside um, is some photo mats. And I just um, used a border punch. It shows a border punch just along there. I've inked all the edges with Tim Holtz Walnut Stain. I tried to do it as lightly as possible so that it wasn't too too dark and sort of blended all the papers in together. So then this one is another another belly band with lace and ribbon, and this is another one of the stickers. And I've sort of and I've laid it up with glossy accents, but you can't quite see. Oh, yeah. There we are, it's all shiny and glittery. And then I've just made a photo photo mat that tucks in behind there. So, and then you lift this one up here, and I've made a corner pocket with a flower. Um, and this is from the paper collection. 
and another little photo map. And on the back of this one, I've just put imagine, so you could put a photo of journaling. And some words across the top from the word sheet. And this is some leftovers from the front where I fussy cut all the different elements out. And it was just, it was so pretty that I didn't really want to do too much or cover it up too much. So I've just made this little pocket here and a little photo mat slice inside there. And along the bottom there is a place for journaling. It's got places for details and stuff there. Um, and the word memories comes from the, this word sheet again. And then on this one here I have, um, this is from... Uh, it's the same as the front panel, sorry, and I've just left this one plain this time uh, and just added some more of my um, homemade flowers and a date for the photo and a photo can fit down behind the flower. But, yeah, I just didn't want to cover up the paper, it was really pretty. And then, then on this one I used a tag sticker from the sticker book and I put some glossy accents on the balloon and made some little tags that tuck in behind there and then a little photo mat and then down here is a little banner oops sorry and it says laughter uh, and then this one is the last one it's just an it's the same sort of thing again it's another pocket with some tags tucked into it and a little photo mat tucked in behind there as well a little enjoy coupon sits in there and then on the last page I've put a sticker and then a butterfly that I've cut out from the um, the front of the the paper pad so that's it I've tried to use all of the papers and um, and stickers and that that I could get with the collection and I've cut out um, all my flowers and things from the coordinating prints as well so that's my mini so thanks for watching and um, I'll be back again soon bye